once a week. Feed the storming sands with a human. This was a murder contract that had been passed down for generations. At first, it wasn't easy. However, as with everything else, it became easier each time. How did you find your way to this barren desert? Ah, so you have burned down your hometown where a massive demon resided. And that there is not a single corpse left to eat from. And that you spent days and days walking toward this place. Very well done. This place is truly isolated and bare. Everything is covered in sand, and sometimes it feels as though the sand will also swallow my breath. However, there are plentiful aces around the area. It is a perfect place to start a new life. Those who had listened to me up to now had always grasped my hands tightly, begging that they wanted it, that they wanted to live. The next step was easier. I merely had to show them the oasis and give them some food. Without knowing what it was made from or how it was made, the people devoured the food. When the pitch black night came, I carried the unconscious people on my back. The light from the debris from the Ethereum continues to shine like it usually did. How many times have I walked this path? Ah, how many people had I dropped into the sandy pit? How many times could have my mother and my grandmother watched the sand swallow people? Don't look too deep into the bottom. The starving sand souls will try to swallow you too. My head spun instantly. My back and shoulders felt light. Mindlessly, I peeked my head out and gazed down. A pair of red eyes that I have never seen before looked right into me.